Alright, so let's give this another go. New game. Should I try building a building a wall? Maybe I should try building a wall. Immediately. Alright, let's start there. Embark here. And like build a wall. <laughs> yeah, alright, let's let's do that. So we need a, a uh, let's see, let's zoom out. So I'm gonna build a wall around all these trees basically is what we want to do. We'll take the camera. Place oh there's no food in here, wait a minute. Where are the berries? Crap, there's no there's berries there. There's berries there. That's not really good enough, is it? Alright, well we're gonna found Let's just put our banner right there. And then put a stop out right there. A traveler? You guys really look like you could use some help here. The travelers would like to leave you one basket of turnips. Good. I need turnips. Thank you. Uh, why is this dark? Let me harvest berries. And let me harvest berries. And then let me harvest trees. And in fact, harvest more trees. Stone, random flowers, stone, stone. More stone. Alright, let's harvest all this stuff. And let's increase the game speed a little bit. And we need a... We need a carpenter. Yep, approve. And we are going to... Oh, that's my bad. Cancel. Carpenter, build a workshop right... Right there. And then... Carpenter, build a door. Fences. Keep people off your... Well, maybe I should use a, a fence. No, the, you have to place fences individually. I remember from the uh, earlier... Earlier versions, you have to place like fences and gates individually, which is kind of annoying. A minor obstacle for intruders. Alright, well let's craft a door. Pretty sure the goblins are imbalanced at the moment. Alright, build and design. The design and build... Can I not put on a floor? Can I just... Wall... Place walls... Put down shift while clicking and draw connected walls. Alright, well you're gonna... We're gonna put a... I'm gonna start from here. Start from... Here. And... Wall ourselves in. This is like playing... Age of Empires, if you've played that before. You just build walls everywhere. Or Command and Conquer? You can just sandbag? <laughs> Anyone remember Command and Conquer? The, the thing with Command and Conquer was that the AI will not destroy your walls. So what you so a viable strategy, believe it or not, is to put sandbags around all your stuff, and because the, the AI won't destroy your walls, you can just sandbag, and the AI doesn't know how to attack you once you've sandbagged your way in. And so you can turn Command and Conquer into a game of sandbags, <laughs> basically, <laughs> and just use the sandbags to to block to block the uh, the the enemies from ever attacking you. Alright, so that closes that. Do that. I'm gonna put a door in here so that there is in fact a door. And we can get out again. But we might just stay in here for the rest of our lives. And defend ourselves from the goblins this way. Let me, let me just put the door like... Then maybe I shouldn't put it there because... Let's just put it there. Alright, let's put it like... There and start building. <laughs> So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna wall ourselves in. 
<laughs> yes! But maybe this is how you do it! Maybe this is how you win the game! We're gonna wall ourselves in. We're gonna make one farmer and start building a farm because... You know, berries are out, outside at the moment and we can't really go outside for the berries because it's not safe outside. Therefore... I'm gonna turn you... Oh, wait a minute, I don't have a... Never mind. I'm gonna go to the, the carpenter. Farmer's hoe. Alright, we're gonna make a, a hoe. Yes, we're gonna make a hoe. Weaver? We'll leave the weaver for now. Let's just get a farmer going. And then we're gonna farm our way to victory. Build a wall, build a farm. I'm gonna cut down all these trees eventually. When I need wood, I will. I'm just, I'm just traumatized, all right, by that goblin attack. Those eight goblins completely slaughtered everyone I own. Everybody I know and love were just slaughtered by those goblins. So we're not gonna let that happen ever again. So we're gonna wall ourselves in to protect ourselves from the goblins. Maybe this was a bit too ambitious. This is a pretty big wall. You know what? Drastic times calls for drastic measures. Drastic. Um... Should we start... Wait a minute, didn't I tell the carpenter to make a... Make a hoe? Oh, there she goes. Alright, Beth, let's see you make that hoe. And then... Jeff can be our farmer. So we don't really need any protection from the elements. But we do need food and we need protection from goblins. This war is going to take a while. This might have been a bit too ambitious. I mean, it'll be kind of sad if, if the war is not finished and then the goblins just come and kill all of us. But, you know, maybe that happens sometimes. Also, I don't really understand why, like, this is lit up and then this is dark. I'm not sure why that is. I understand that we, you know, we started the game around this location, right, but then... Is this some sort of fog? I don't know what that means. Like, why is it, why is it lit up like that? And why is that dark out there? Don't know what this means at all. Uh, farmer. We stocking stockpile number one. All right. Well, we're gonna zone a farm right there. Let's start small. Choose a crop. What can I choose? Oh, here we go, hold on. Click on it. Fellow plant nothing turnips, fast growing staple, not particularly nutritious, slow growing but super nutritious, uh, spun into thread. Well, let's go with the fast one for now. And, uh, because we just want to not starve at this point. So once we can not starve, then we'll think about growing more useful things. Do I need more logs? There's more logs there. Do I need more food? Probably. There's a few berries lying around there and there. No, I, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Alright. Let's continue our project of walling off the entire world. I don't... yes, I don't really know... Oh, is it because... What if I make another fire pit? Can I make another fire pit? So if I... I can't though, I, I can't make another... What if I make a lantern? Wooden garden lantern, what if I like make... Three of those? If I place a lantern here, does it light up the, the ground? Is that what it means? What I'm scared of is that the goblins will just appear out of the darkness. 
That's my concern right now. And if that's the case, then I need to get rid of the darkness pretty soon. Also kind of slowly running out of berries. Alright, I think we're doing okay. What is that stuff? Are oh, those flowers? Flowers, alright. We can place the flowers where we like. Haha, <laughs> she's gonna grab some berries. Maybe I should... Okay, we've run out of berries. Let me just um, do that. Until our turnips are in business. Come on, farmer. Dig faster, farmer. There you go, you dig that farm, plant those turnips. Good job. You can grow a lot of food on not very much space, it looks like. I wonder how long it takes to grow turnips. We'll see how efficient this is. Let him go. Look at this guy go. Alright, the war is coming along. Maybe about 20% complete, it looks like. Just let that continue. Something needs to move that block so the farmer can plant turnips there. Oh, really? Where is the goblin? I don't even know where he is. Like, where is he? Should I? Oh, there he is. Can I, like, select my guys and get them to attack the goblin? Okay, there, there we go. They're fighting, kind of. Farmer, help her out. That goblin has a weapon. Like, is he okay? Like, there's little heart symbols. He's running away and he's going back to fight. Alright, so we got rid of one goblin. I don't know... I don't know what's going on. Alright, lantern? A compact source of light. Like, if I put it there, what happens? What happens if I put that lantern there? Nothing. <laughs> All right, so that's a that's a completely different thing. So this fog is a completely different thing from from lanterns. So, you, so lanterns don't help with this at all. What is this then? How do you expand this then? Because I think goblins appear from outside of this boundary. I don't know how you expand it. Ah, uh, design and build, harvest resources. Look, there's a. There's a banner, and there's a... Oops, there's a banner, and there's... A fire pit. Provides warmth and light. Town info, net worth, I don't know what that means, I don't know what any of this stuff means. I can't make a fire pit. No, I can't. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I maybe I did this wrong. Maybe I should have I don't know I don't know what this is. I think the goblin appeared right there. I think the, the goblins can appear in the in the dark area. I just don't know how to expand the area though. There's something about this game mechanic here that, that I don't understand, or maybe it's not implemented completely. Mm -hmm. 
so how long does it take turnip sprouts not edible yet all right fair enough don't have enough berries do I let me well there's berries out there we'll let these guys continue to build yeah I might have So the lantern is not useful for us. The camp standard can be moved. What about move that to there? Does that change anything? Let me try that. And the fire pit can also be moved. Well. Alright, let's see what happens if I move the camp standard. So there she's taking the, the camp standard. The thing is this circle is not really... Like the middle of the circle is like there for some strange reason. So... That changes absolutely nothing. So if I take the fire pit and move it next to the camp standard. It changes nothing though, does it? Don't know what that is. That changes nothing. Alright, so that's got nothing to do with the uh the camp standard or the fire pit. But if that's the case, then I don't understand at all what that is. And alright, turnips are harvesting. Awesome. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Six. Six turnips a box. Or a basket. Six turnips per basket. And they are eating those. Good. They just jump right over that wall. The wall's not actually stopping them from moving out. Alright. Ah, uh, so there's not really enough turnips for them to feed themselves. Because they have to go for the berries still. They eat a lot of food, don't they? Where do them go? Alright, let's harvest more berries. Because obviously you guys eat a lot. Alright, and the farmer's gonna go back to harvesting the turnips, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think maybe that was a bit too ambitious with the war, and I, I don't know if this this kind of light and dark bit means much. I think it means that goblins can appear here, despite my war. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens if we give it some time. So these war segments are complete, right? So the war is maybe one third complete now. And how much wood do I have? Um, well, here comes... The, yeah, look, they appeared right there. They appeared right, right there. Alright, all right, we're gonna die again. But we're going to try this one more time. We're going to try this game one more time. I don't think the goblins can... can climb walls. So they just come along and burn your stuff. 
fascinating. What is he doing? Is he gonna burn our camp banner? No, he's running off to grab stuff to burn. Are we fighting them? Oh, we are. And we are losing. Yep, we are completely getting pwned. Although we're gonna kill... No, okay, we killed one goblin, I think. <laughs> come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Three on two. Come on. Come on, let's go. Nope, we are getting owned. Alright, so we were a little bit ambitious and the goblins can appear anywhere in the, in the fog. Alright, so I understand how that works now. Let's, let's stop this. We're going to try one more time. We're going to try one more time. Alright, let's go. 